Hello guys, welcome to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we will discuss on the Java replace method, which is a method used for replacing parts of a string with another string or a character with another character. The replace method returns a string and uh, also what we can note is that this method has three variations that we are going to look at um, by taking concrete examples. In the first example, I will show you how to replace all the occurrences of uh, parts of a string with another string using the replace method. So I will start by declaring my string variable. I'll say string str. And in here, I will say uh, my string. This is my string. So this is just uh, a value that I'm giving as an example. And now I need to call the replace method. So I will do that directly in the system out that print line statement. So in here, what I'm going to do, I will say str.replace and then I will open my bracket. So I will say I want to replace the substring, a particular substring in my str string and that substring will be a string, okay? Uh, into a new substring and I will say a name for example or we can also re re replace a character by a character but for now let me run this and you will see what will happen so if I run as you can see now the output is showing my name this is my name but initially what we had was my string, this is my string. So what we have done is that we have replaced the substring string from the str uh, string variable. We have replaced it with a name. So what the method does is that wherever it's gonna find the substring string, it's gonna replace it with the substring name. And as I was saying, we could also instead of replacing the substring, we could replace the character. So let me say, I will replace the character uh, M with the character Y, for example. So wherever uh, with the character B, sorry. So wherever the method is going to find the character uh, M, it's going to replace it with the character Y. So as you can see now, if I run in the console, what we have is by string, this is by string. What it has done is that it has changed the character M and replaced it with the character B. So wherever it finds character M, it replaces it with character B. So that was it concerning the first example. So now in the second example, I will show you how to replace the occurrences of a substring or uh, with another string using the replace all method. So I will keep the string variable str and what I need to do is to call my method, my replace all method. So this is another variation of the replace method. Instead of using replace method, we're going to use replace all method. And what I'm going to do is that I will say that I want to replace all the occurrences of the substring string with the substring name and uh, if i run you see my name this is my name oh let me just say code for example you will see that it's now gonna 
output my code, this is my code. But one thing we need to note is that the replace all method does not work with characters. Let me show you that if I use characters here that like I want to replace all the occurrences of a particular character, um, I will get an error as you can see here. Okay. What it says, change to replace or change to replace first. So this is something we need to note that the replace all method uh, replaces all the occurrences of the substring with a new specified string. And uh, also unlike the replace method, the replace all method returns an error when we want to replace characters, uh, character types, okay? Uh, as what is shown here. If I try to run this, you know, it say errors exist in required object and all that. If I proceed, I will get an error because I can't use the replace all method to replace characters, okay? Character type values. But if I use the replace method, you it will work. So that's what we need to keep in mind concerning the second variation. Uh, when you want to use the replace all method, you can only use the replace all method if you want to replace substrings. But you can use that if you want to replace uh, character of values or values of type character. So in the third example, I'm going to show you the third variation of the replace method. I will show you how you can be able to replace the first occurrence of a substring with another string using the replace first method. Okay, so all I'm going to change here, instead of using replace uh, method or replace all, I will use the replace first so with the replace first, it's going to replace the first occurrence of the substring we want to replace. Like here I'm saying, uh, so the, the substring that we want to replace is string, uh, the substring string here, and we want to replace it with name, with this substring name. So what using the replace first, what is going to happen is that the first occurrence of string is going to be replaced with name. If I run, you will see my name, this is my string. So you can note that only the first occurrence of the substring string has been replaced. Also, uh, what we can also note concerning the replace first method is that it does not work when you try to replace character type values. For example, if I want to replace um, character M with character B, okay, I get an error. So just like the replace all method, you can't replace character types uh, using the replace first method. You will get an error. So um, now this is actually the difference that we need to keep in mind. So as a recap, uh, what we can keep in mind concerning this uh, video, uh, concerning the replace method is that the replace method has three variations. The first variation is the replace method itself, okay, where you can replace all the occurrences of a particular substring uh, in a string with another substring. So as we could see, and the second variation is to use the replace all method is how you can replace um, all the occurrences of a substring uh, with another uh, substring. Okay, and we could also know that you cannot use the replace all method to replace character type values. So the third variation was the replace first method. 
uh, where you can you can be able to use this method when you want to replace the first occurrence of a substring uh, with another string. And uh, you can also use this method if you want to replace character type values. So guys, that was it concerning the replace method and it's three variation. And I hope this video was informative and please feel free to comment to um, ask any question if you have. And uh, don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and also by subscribing to this channel. So let's meet in the next video. Take care.